Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair guys. Uh, in today's video, we will show you how to find uh, top dead center TDC on Ford guys. And this one will be most newer Ford vehicles will be that way. Uh, especially we'll be demonstrating here on the EcoBoost Turbo Engine. But I know for sure that some uh, actually 1.6 uh, 1, 1 radio engines in uh, Europe uh, will be that way too. So. Let me show you what we'll be using for that 1.6 EcoBoost. We'll be using that timing too. It comes with the TDC pin as well. If you have a different engine, the length of the pin might be different. So always double check that. We'll have the links listed in the description of the video. So now let us show you guys, okay, how we are going to find TDC. What we have here now, okay, we have the drive shaft removed, okay because we'll need to access a bolt hidden behind the drive shaft so let me just go under the car tool okay and one second and okay right there now there is one bolt okay this bolt right here that we'll need to go ahead and remove this one is with a 10 millimeter socket go ahead pull it out guys now in the place of that bolt we're going to place our pin it screws the same way and you can see that's where usually the drive shaft is and that's why you have to remove it so you can access that and you can install your pin get it tight you can just do it by hand now let me get out quick Okay, and now, in our case, it's with 18 millimeters. We are going to turn the crankshaft. We are going to go, okay, we will we'll go clockwise. But let me show you now. Let me show you. I'll have the, okay, I'll have the pin here, but do not place anything inside your cylinder. That's just for demonstration of purpose. How it's going to go up when we turn the engine clockwise. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, this is it. This is top dead center. It doesn't go more up. You start going down again. Now, never ever turn the engine engine backwards. But if if we do, listen now how it's going to hit the pin. Okay, this is it. We cannot turn it more. All the way clockwise now. This is top dead center. We have the timing marks here, but we'll have a special video for setting the timing because we have to use quite a few special tools. It's very important how you do that. You can see, but in our case, we have that dot up and this one up as well. So that's how we set the top dead center on four guys. Uh, we'll be having the timing video, as I said. And we'll be using that plate right here to hold the camshafts. So we'll use a special tool to hold the flywheel through the starter hole. So quite complicated procedure. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and many more videos to come.